Today we present our analysis of the different trends of the world's table tennis schools or systems, especially those that have had world and Olympic results and remain until 2021, seeking in Tokyo 2021 to achieve maximum performance. We must first start by talking about the essential biomechanical components, such as speed, precision and rotation effect, each of them interferes in the efficacy, efficiency and effectiveness of each stroke and gesture on the ball that table tennis executes. Of these three components, at an elite level, speed in its different manifestations make and will make a difference in the training systems that continue to give results in world table tennis. Speed in table tennis is presented in three components, transfer speed or called by many hit power, gesture speed or stroke frequency and angular velocity representing the rotation effect on the ball. These three manifestations of speed are dependent on the biomechanical application of each table tennis player, therefore, it creates variable mechanical patterns, but sustained with competitive results. From the first manifestation of speed, which is that of transfer, the biomechanical pattern of Chinese technique is based on the different gestures, mainly in a biomechanical model of moment of inertia, looking for a wide radius of action, an anticipation that differentiates it from the other schools, which today has been the one with the highest results at the world and Olympic level. In technical words, its long lever as it is known, has managed to stay in time. This type of lever, which is of the third degree, is advantageous for the speed in the periphery of the lever in this case in the racket, in addition to protecting the shoulder joint used properly and at optimal angles. Imitated by Korea in its current young players, but without being effective yet, due to the lack of anticipation in the Korean school, which was very effective in the pencil grip, with great exponents who are now coaches in that Asian country. Korean mechanics differ from Chinese mechanics in anticipation, racket contact angles, using mixed topspin sidespin rotations, in horizontal non-vertical grip like the Chinese, and in the hardness of their rubbers. The third school, which is the frequency or speed of the gesture, appears the Japanese, who have had greater and better results in the female branch, not only adapting their morphofunctional characteristics to this type of speed. Very frequent hits, using the opponent's speed, with a short distance from the table and using non-smooth rubbers to help change rhythms and ways of rotation of the ball, with very young players who are coming up in the territory dominated by the Chinese, but not yet finished with the hegemony. Europe, Asenia, Africa, and Latin America have been nurtured by these three great systems, the greatest benefit for these being training in China in continuous seasons and for every certain time managing to position players among the best in the world, only once a team has managed to reach the top after the 90s, and it was the Swedes. Based on the above, for now we do not have a school other than those named that manages to emerge as an alternative to the three Asian countries named above, that manages to generate changes in the way of playing and or training, or change the biomechanical pattern to follow. My very personal opinion is that the Chinese will continue to dominate for a while longer, unless there is 180 degree change in materials, rules or otherwise, but due to game mechanics I don't think so. We are to disagree, we do not have the absolute truth. Thank you very much and blessings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for visiting us, remember to subscribe and give the bell for more videos of this channel. Blessings of the Lord Jesus Christ.